<laughs> so friends, what happened is my phone died right mid video. I apologize. I should have looked before I freaking did it. Silly bugger. Now, right where I was, was right in the middle. Uh, I'm talking about too many things at once. I'm so freaking excited. I bounce around like a freaking jelly bean. I know I do it. <sighs> Fucking. What I was talking about was the shoulder. You see the difference what I'm talking about. See this tapered fit? That's personally what I prefer. That's what I prefer. I like a tapered fit. The ax goes on. It gradually gets fatter and fatter and fatter and fatter instead of sitting down on a on a bench or a shelf. Even with beaver tooth handles, what I end up doing most times, sometimes it ends up working just perfectly and it'll sit there and grab all around and it'll work fine and you can do it. But most times I end up tapering the shoulder a bit right in here to get more of a, a tapered fit. That's just personally what I like. Here's an old school ox that Dayton gave me. Day, Day, uh, Dayton, you've met Dayton. I did some falling with him. Hey, well, look at this. This is an old school. As a matter of fact, we're going to do this axe soon. It's Buck and Billy Ray's axe. It is close to my dear, dear heart. And I'll tell you why it is. Because it's a freaking forestry service axe. Look it. Unless somebody... No, they didn't. Do you know why they didn't? Because this says BC government on it, friends. Look. Right there. Well and Vale, BC government. Forestry service. Right there. I can't believe it. Dayton, buddy, you know what? If this didn't mean nothing to you, it sure the hell means something to me, buddy. And I appreciate you giving me this, bud. What a beautiful, beautiful axe. Gosh. So anyway, my point is, though, is this, friends. This is what they used to do. Look at what it does. There's no shoulder. It literally, it goes down and it's a tapered fit. That's it. Plain and simple. Babango. Goes down and will only go so far. Slowly gets thicker. That's the most best fit you'll ever get in my mind. One man's opinion. Damn, that's nice. So we're going to resurrect this. But we're going to be very careful because we are maxed out on the shoulder. It doesn't get any wider there. It starts to get narrower. So I'm going to reseat this thing. I want to salvage out the handle. Right, friends? It's going to be a nice fit. We're going to put it on the channel. Oh, look. Oh, it feels just like a little light thing. It's so skinny. But it's straight as an arrow. <laughs> it is. It's straight. The grain's on a 45 degree angle, friends. 45 degree. Which means nothing to me. It does not matter to me whatsoever. But it is a beautiful, beautiful handle. Slender like I like them. Straight as a freaking arrow. And we're going to resurrect it. I took the wedge out of it. And we're going to do it. Not today. Damn, that's nice. What a neat... And it's been used. This axe is being used, friends. Three and a half pounder. You know what, actually? I might be lying to you. It's three and three quarter pounds. Yeah. Three and three quatrains. Oh, I think that's upside down. I can tell because it went on like crazy. Did you see how that went on? Come off of there, you silly bugger. It went on just like shloom, right to the floor. Like right to its, but it won't, it won't do that here. Oh, no, no, no. See? Okay, listen. Listen to me right now, friends. Here's the deal. On a double bitted axe, listen. You may have even done this yourself when you first started hanging axes. You probably grabbed your axe head and you went, okay, let's see. Oh, oh my, that, that, oh. Oh, geez, that, that actually looks like it's going to go past where it needs to go. Well, I better hang it anyways, because it seems like that's the way to go. No, it's not. That's the fat end. That's the top of the ax. Friends, they, they don't go like that. They go small end on first. Look at, watch. It doesn't even go on, friends. Look, see, it's there. That's it. That's how they go on. They go on, small end on first, big end at the top. A proper double bit is made like that. You get some reversible axes. There are some reversible. But this has got the small, you, you can even see it. Watch, look closely. I'll keep it dark, not through like that. I'll keep it dark, watch. See that? 
Now watch. Flap. 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 <laughs> it's smaller. Okay. Ah. I don't know why I'm in a good mood like this. I just don't know why. This could be the reason. It damn well could be. Now I just think I'm happy to be alive. That's pretty much, pretty much what we got going on the go here. So listen, if you're looking for axe handles, Beaver Tooth Axe Handle Company, top notch. Love them. Dealt with them for a long time. Whiskey River, top notch. Same deal. Dealt with them for a little while. Not as long as I've dealt with uh, Beaver Tooth, but we're getting there. We're moving along with them now. Uh, I like his stuff. He deals only in premium stuff, so just he he doesn't leave any scrutiny for himself, which is smart businessman to do that. Just go with the best. That then it is what it is, right? So uh, Beaver Tooth, the bigger company, bigger company. These are nice axe handles. So that's the first one. Took me 25 freaking minutes to do that. Here's another one. That's Beaver Tooth. Let's put that there. Let's take a look at these. I bought three of these, and the reason I bought them. The reason I bought these ones from Whiskey River, friends, is because, because they've got a bigger eye. And I've got some axes with bigger eyes. They won't fit, uh, which I'm gonna call this, won't fit. Um, beaver tooth. Uh, I've got some fatter heads and they just, they sit right on, they, just, they don't work. Oh dear. Oh my. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm gonna tell you something right now, Whiskey River. You're doing a nice job here. Hey, Bomb. Is that the only package in there? That gap one or that bag one? Yes. Okay. What did you have coming? Shoot. Well, is not Yeah, that was it. There wasn't like a package or something that said to go pick something up? Because they said that they weren't going to deliver it to the mailbox. No, there wasn't. Because in the mail... No, I, che I checked the mail, and there was only keys for the parcel. Okay. We could check again, though. Well, do you think there would really be any difference? It could have been later. I, I don't know if I... I'll have to check that. Okay. You want to go for a walk down there? Uh, yeah. I'll go down. Okay, okay let's go. I'm going to go down the mailbox and be back in a flash.